What's going on everybody? We are outside the theater to see Godzilla minus one minus color plus E. E, what's up? Hey. This is officially a movie night video. I've seen Godzilla minus one twice now. Saw it when it first came out couple days before it came out not trying to brag I was just there for it I was very excited for it went and saw it again just had an even better experience the second time around I believe it was my second favorite movie of 2023 great movie it was the most surprising movie of the year for sure uh E what are your thoughts going into Godzilla minus one minus color well you know I have so many um just kidding no, yeah, it's going to be fine. I'm a little mortified by this guy. Michael yeah. wouldn't let him fucking leave before. Well, it's not that I wouldn't let him leave. I, I don't so. have the man at, you know. No, but now he knows gunpoint. what we're doing. So yeah. I'm just it's okay. mortified. No, I'm not worried about it. He can be in my video. I hope the dinosaur movie is great. Let's restart. Guys, we're here to see Godzilla minus one, minus color, plus E, plus the guy in the truck. Uh, no, but um, but seriously though, I am excited to see this with you. I am hoping that the transfer from color to black and white, like I'm a big fan of the old Godzilla black and white movies, so I'm looking for that hit of nostalgia for myself, but I'm hoping that the color doesn't lose you, like not the lack of color, I should say, doesn't lose you, um, because Godzilla in the Godzilla Minus One movie looks gorgeous when his back lights up in blue and so i'm curious how that'll look in black and white i'm hyped for it i'm excited for it i already know it's a movie i'm going to enjoy so i'm ready unless you have anything else you want to add before going in i feel like that was an insult in there but that's there was no, no 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 no. i just meant that there's no okay hold on let me uh -huh. let me rephrase yeah. i just mean that you know the visually the experience i had the last time around was great but part of that was when godzilla sort of gets ready to just shoot out a nuclear blast his back lights up in blue and it's very colorful, Godzilla very is, blue, yeah. right. And so it's going to be in black and white. I'm curious how that'll transfer over. And since it, it'll be your first time, I wonder if it'll impact you as much. But also, you're not a black and white movie kind of girl. No, I am not. Also, I'm going to tint this to look black and white. So you are a black and white. I'm and you are black, black and white. white. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Godzilla, minus one, minus color, plus E, plus the guy in the truck, <laughs> black and white. I'm excited about this. All right, well, movie night. We're going in, we'll let you know what she thinks and how I think about the movie now in black and white when we get out. And so we have seen Godzilla minus one. E, your thoughts. I don't wanna talk about it. I've already made a full review of this movie so people know my thoughts overall. Emotional movie for you? I cried the entire time. I knew you would. I mostly cried. Well, I cried at first because it reminds me of my little brother. Mm -hmm. But then it was just a lot. <laughs> it ruined my life. So thanks for that. I had a wonderful time with this movie for the third time now. Um, I loved everything about it. It's emotional. It's moving. The action from Godzilla is incredible. Uh, the theme of life in the movie overall. Oh, and he was so cute. Godzilla? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure who you were talking about. I was like, talking about well, the scientist cute. guy. Oh, I did. I, his hair was <laughs> fabulous. I really liked him. It was such a fun time seeing this movie with you. I knew you'd connect with it. I knew you'd enjoy it. And as far as the black and white feature, which is why we're making this video, because they released it in black and white, um, I thought that it lended itself to the movie in some ways and it hurt the movie in other ways. What I mean by that is I think that the black and white aspect was cool for moments like the very beginning of the movie on the beach where all of the men were wearing white suits except for the main character and he was in all black and so he stood out from them I feel like that got lost in translation in color but in black and white it really stood out and that was really cool but on the downside of that I think that Godzilla really shined for me when you got to see him light up in blue and I going into this movie I thought that might be a problem because at the end where you saw all the lights coming out of Godzilla those were blue rays and it just looked beautiful and so I'm looking forward to seeing this in color again hopefully I'll see it with you in color again that'd be I fun I don't know if I can go down that but I know. think that's the only detraction for me everything else worked in black and white it felt like an old monster movie it felt like an old Godzilla movie I, I loved it. I also ate a lot of blue cotton candy, so my mouth is weird colors, but we're going to put this in black and white, so maybe maybe that won't be noticeable. You're still going to look weird. I'll have, like, black teeth, but I had a great time. Do you want to say anything else? No. Guys, Godzilla Minus One Minus Color is playing in theaters for just a week, so if you get a chance, you should go check it out. Um, otherwise, hopefully it's out on Blu-ray or 4K soon-ish. We'll see. This has been a movie night with Mike. <laughs> 
and E, but officially the title of the video is minus one plus E. I think I like that. Okay. Yeah, okay. We'll see you next time. <laughs>